I'm sick of college students, man, with their youth and innocence. Let's uh, kick it with the OGs today. We're at a retirement home. It's day 25, we're here at a TV station in Dayton doing a morning interview on Fox 45. I woke up late, I kept you guys waiting. My alarm was still set for central time. I'm sorry, but we made it. DJ Demers is an award-winning comedian who's been featured on America's Got Talent and Conan. Now he's teaming up with Phonak, a hearing aid provider for the Hear to Hear comedy tour. All month long, DJ's been traveling to spread hearing loss awareness to college students through laughter and he is here with us this morning. DJ, thank you so much for being here. We really Thank you very much it. for having me. What's been really surprising is at the beginning of my show, I'll say, who here wears hearing aids? And let's say like five people clap. I'll be like, okay, cool, five people. But then after the show, another 10 people will come up to me and be like, I actually wear a hearing aid. Really? Yeah, there's a sense of, I know I was a lot more embarrassed about it when I was younger. Like as I've gotten older and dare I say wiser, um, <laughs> I've become comfortable with them. But I know even when I was in high school, college, it was a little bit of, I might try to hide them. Or I think it's important to just um, let everybody know. I think the stat is maybe one in five people have some sort of hearing loss. So nobody's alone in it. And uh, I think it's important for people to know that. And if I can make people know that with some silly some jokes. Some laughter and, yeah. and some jokes, it's all the better, right? Yeah. DJ, thank you so much for being here this Thanks morning. Thanks so much we really for having appreciate me. appreciate it, of course. Thank you. We just got to Akron, Ohio, and uh, I'm sick of college students, man, with their youth and innocence. Let's uh, kick it with the OGs today. We're at a retirement home, and I'm uh, going to do a little bit of a comedy show, I think, for our senior citizen friends, and maybe talk to them, learn from them. And uh, I'm excited. By the way, I love college students. I've had a good time, but this is a nice change of pace. So let's see who we meet. I'm excited to meet some new friends today. Let's do it. Hello, everybody. Hello. How are you? Fine. Thank you very much for having me today. What's a piece of advice you have for me that you maybe wished that you had known when you were my age? What's that say? Whatever you do, do it well. Whatever you do, do it well. Right. That's great advice. Thank you. B, that's your name? B? Yes. Beatrice. Thank you very much, Beatrice. Whatever you do, do it well. That's very nice. That's great advice. One arm, she's blonde. Do you know how to get her out of a tree? How do you get a one armed blonde out of a tree? Wave to her. Wave to her. <laughs> <laughs> that's really, what's your name? Betty. Mary. Betty. Thank you very much, Betty. I'm going to end on that. How do you get a one-armed blonde out of a tree? I'm happy all my life. Yeah? It's amazing. How old are you, if I may ask? 81. 81 years old. Wow. You're just a kid. Yeah, but you know, I remember I was 20 yesterday, and now I'm 31, so I know how quickly You're time 31? flies. 31. Yeah. I know time flies quickly, so I'm trying to make the most out of this life. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, great. Thank You'll you. go places. Thank you. Thanks, Chris. Really appreciate it. Very nice to meet you. One more okay. hug. Okay. Just performed in a retirement home. I can check that off the bucket list. All sorts of feelings when I talk to elderly people. I think about my parents, my grandparents, life in general, feeling all these emotions. Um, so many sweet people in there. And uh, I, that was a really, I'm getting sappy, but I really, uh, that's going to be a memory. I'm happy that we did that. I'm very thankful that everyone was so nice in there, the staff and all of the lovely people living here. And Betty with the killer joke, how do you get a blonde girl out of a tree? Or sorry, a one-armed blonde girl out of a tree. You wave to her. That's good. That's better than any of the crap I was saying. So thank you so much to the Arbors here in Akron, Ohio, um, for taking us in on short notice. It was a really fun, memorable experience. Take care of yourselves and each other. I believe that's Jerry Springer's catchphrase, but it's mine now. Um, see you later. See you tomorrow, everybody. Hey, did you like what you just saw? You should subscribe then. Or you can watch the previous video right down there, or a random video right down here. Thank you very much.